Yeah, wagu one people, a very beautiful Tuesday morning. Hope yako imekuwa salama, umeanza vizuri na pia ulilala vizuri. Eh, kikuwa Tuesday ya subuhi sijui na kongo umetongojea hapa wiki kama tuongee vitu mbili tatu tuone kama tunaweza tukasaidiana kwa hii maisha kama vitu zimekuwa one pande yako. All right? So today tunataka kuongelea mapenzi in a different kind of version. You know, I read somewhere that when you're choosing a spouse to marry, you should be very careful because you could be choosing your worst enemy. Because you can see that love turns to something else. But today we want to focus on the love before it turns to that something else. You know? And of course, I am here with my panel. We start here. Georgina, what's going on? What's going on? Feeling good? Brr. Brr, kang, kang. Brr. It's a talk of a little bit like a brr. Eh, brr. Yes, that's it. I am that. You're that. I'm that. Brr, kang, kang. Yes, sir. Mofai, how was the week? Oh, the week has been lovely. I've been having very, very nice days. True that? I am happy. Kabisa. Aposa. Bobby. How are you? What I need to present, Jasmine. Eh. Niko B.A. Oh, I'm all right. <laughs> oh yeah. man. Because, uh, because how was the week been? Amazing. Me, I don't think I have bad days anymore these eh. days. What would you say? Nakuanga you... too happy. Okay, well, then will you share your highlight of the week? Uh every day is so magical. But uh what I can say is that if you want to have days like mine, mm -hmm. improve your <laughs> emotional <laughs> <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. <laughs> that one also. Okay, CJ. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Very well. How's the week been? Good, good, uh, good. You know, she's become a motivational speaker. <laughs> you want to have days like, like mine. mine. <laughs> 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 Maybe kuna mseu niona, anasikianga kila saa niko too happy. Mm. But this he pretends like ni kweli muko too happy. Is this a formula? There's a formula. Ni, yeah. Like, kuna kitu ni change kwa life yangu. Yeah. Nandu mwana ni kwa so. All right. Yeah. Well, you we didn't ask me my highlights. This is discrimination. <laughs> <laughs> She's <laughs> hijacked. She's hijacked. <laughs> the conversation. The conversation. But I had this conversation with men in Nanyuki. Uh -huh. um, employees of uh, a certain establishment. All right. And it, it was, that was the highlight for my week last week. Right. Thursday and Friday, you know, getting men around from the 20s to the 50s mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and seeing that no matter what age group they are in, they have not had certain things. And especially just how to relate with themselves and other people. Mm -hmm. um, so we're planning to do another one in December. I thought that was really huge. Yeah. Also, yeah. so you have an event on the 6th? Yes, I do have an event. Ah, <laughs> yeah, I follow you. Hello, hello. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Amazing. So let's start this conversation. Everyone has said their highlight. Apart from you, Georgina, do not ask for your highlight. My highlight <laughs> was uh -huh. I got to interview the first female chartered arbitrator in Kenya. Yeah. Uh, like I know what like, you yeah. just said. <laughs> like, like I know. Get it. Like I know what you <laughs> said. Like the first, so you know, arbitration is like um, ADR, alternative dispute resolution. Yes, yes. So this mediation, arbitration, now like typical day in court. Yes. So now this is a whole entire profession. So mm -hmm. she was the first ever to be chatted like oh, in 2008. Wow. Mm -hmm. So we had like a, oh wow. It was supposed to be like a one hour conversation. It went to three. Allah. Yeah, so I learned so much. She was amazing. Uh, Amazing. Yes. It's good that you've mentioned arbitration. <laughs> that is what we want to do today. We want to arbitrate. Uh -huh. You know, relationships start out of love, and you see this person you talk to, this person every day, every minute you're on your phone, and people are like, Ay, where, where? <laughs> Kwani, don't you breathe? Yeah? You're with this person in the house, or you leave the house, you're still <laughs> talking to them. You go back in the house, you're still with them, but then all of a sudden that changes. You know, they became your husband, they became your wife. And along the way, that changed. And now you can go a whole day without talking to each other. But you're still married. You know, you haven't given up on each other. But you don't know how to start or to go back to where you are. Yeah. Is it even possible to go back to where you are? Before we get to that, I'd want to know, what is it that leads to that? That you are up there, mm -hmm. then one day, you're no longer there. Yeah. What do you think leads to that? I think it's only natural. Like, life, it, we're in a constant state of decomposition and decay, you know? That's why cars rust. If you don't low your mourn for three, four months, it's going to be, that's why you go get a cut every week, you know? So if everything is, is 
So the same thing in relationships. Life becomes mundane. You have children, you have bills, and that honeymoon phase, you, you end up. That does not mean that now all love is lost. You get me? Mm -hmm. It's just that you have to put in energy into everything. You have to put in positive energy into something. That's why you have to oil your machinery for it to keep working. It's the same with relationships. You have to remember that honeymoon phase. Eh? When you were talking over the phone for 12 hours, okay, that's a lie, for three hours, <laughs> for three hours a night, what was that? What was that, you know, feeling at that moment? How about you try now and go back to that time? Um, it's the small things. It's, it's creating time to talk. It's having deliberate date nights. You know, like now me, I've been married for nine years now, you know? Mm -hmm. And right now things have to be very deliberate. So you have one night of, um, like an entire night to ourselves. We give the kids away or we just go away, you know? Mm -hmm. And then just sit down, talk, talk, talk about our past life, talk about our present and now talk about our future. That's where you lay down your goals. It's exciting mm -hmm. when you still know that and yeah, we have something to look forward to, you know? Wow. Um, but now when the communication breaks down completely, I feel like that's when you guys decide, not decide, you feel like you're losing it. But in essence, you're really not. It's just that you need to take a grip of, you need to take a hold of the relationship. Mm -hmm. um, people need to forgive themselves, like I said, it's fast moving, life is longer. So, unezakuwa, um, like as women, it gets to a point where it's not you know? Mm. Uh, when you were dating, you used to wear so nicely, you know, you were in stilettos, eh, six inch heels. So, mm. you're, you're wearing sneakers. <laughs> Sometimes remember those days, you know, when mm. he, and you're like, ooh, remember that outfit. How about you work towards wearing that from time to time? Things like that. Remember his favorite, uh, I'm talking like about my, I'm saying his, um, his favorite meal. How about you try and spruce things up in the bedroom, of course. Get a sex coach for crying out loud, you know? Because things can also be boring sometimes, you know? How much minutes, how many minutes do you have? <laughs> Six minutes, okay, real quick, you know? So spruce up things in the bedroom. These things take time and energy. If you don't put in effort in anything, be it your profession, be it your, even your <coughs> kids, your school, your marriage, it is bound to, well, look like it's failing. All right. It's not failing, but it might look like it's failing. <laughs> <laughs> CJ, I'm, I'm sure you come across people that ask you this question, like, I feel like my relationship is ending, you know? Yeah. I, have, I have not had a fight with my spouse or my partner, but I feel like it's, it's dying off. You know? yeah. When you interrogate, what is the major cause of, the, of this? First of all, um, I love what Georgina said about we, uh, everything is just naturally decomposing. It takes effort to keep anything at the same level. Nothing remains the same without an effort. Just maintaining the same standard will take so much work. If you have to keep on the same level of weight, if you have to keep your mind at the same level, you have to put in so much work. If you do nothing with your mind right now, you'll begin to lose memory, you'll forget certain things that you could because your mind is like a muscle as well. So everything requires energy. Water only goes up by either pressure or heat. You know, that's, that's one thing that we've got to know. So anytime we are doing nothing, things begin to go down. Sometimes you don't need to fight, you don't need to do anything. But if you're doing nothing towards that, you're not putting in any effort towards it. And how do we get to the place of doing nothing? We settle. You see, in the initial stages, there's somebody pursuing and there's somebody being pursued. So there's the excitement around it, the chemistry, <coughs> you know. It's, it's, it's very exciting to see the lion going after the gazelle. Uh, this one is running, this one is running. Everyone is on the edge, you know, you put your best foot forward. If you are the gazelle, you've got to run fast so that you've got to outrun the lion. If you're the lion, you have to outrun the gazelle. So there's a lot of chemistry there, you know, and that adrenaline normally causes a sense of attractiveness. But then the moment people settle, sometimes they begin to look aside from each other and they begin to look at the environment they're in. Maybe, now, they may not even be living together, but I, they know they have this person. So they want to go on the high of the adrenaline again. So what do they do? They pursue the next thing that is exciting. 
for a man that may be a job, it may be business, it may be his career. So he puts in the energy there. That's where he gets the adrenaline. And he feels that the woman should know that he's already committed to her. So he's not even trying to do anything wrong, but he's just trying to put that adrenaline elsewhere. You know, he's putting the energy somewhere else. And so you'll see that when somebody gets to achieve one goal, they want the next goal and the next goal. And sometimes they keep on moving and neglect this other side. On the other hand, uh, generally for women, one of the things that changes them a lot is that settling. It really changes them a lot. You know, um, like she talked about the sneakers. I, I know they're good sneakers as well. But when they settle in, she's home. Women are very environmental, but men are very mental. So when, when you do this, when the woman comes in and settles in the home, and sometimes she has no motivation to become who she was before because she now feels like I own this space, the man who is mental does not see the thing that used to spark him. So they'll be fine, they'll be talking. Sometimes it's not the, con the conversation is not existent. They'll be talking, but there's no spark. You know, those six minute, two minute, it, they don't even bother. They can live together in a house like a brother or sister, colleague, you know, cool friends, the best of friends, drive to work, come back home. But there's nothing that makes this person feel like I haven't uh, talked to you, we've not gone on a date. There's nothing that brings a spark. Sometimes it has nothing to do with even an affair or something. It's just that people have gotten into a comfort zone. And so they begin to take for granted the things that lit up um, their relationship in the first place. All right. We put a peg on that. We shall, if there's something you've said that, that should be repeated in bold. <laughs> That's settling in. <laughs> it's very important. Bobby, actually, you know, say you, you, you've been dating this person and at some point, they want you to change. Now, you say maybe you've been going <coughs> a lot, and now they, they want you now to, to, now they want to turn it to, to a, a relaxed relationship, you know? You've been hyper and all, but it's getting to a point, it's, it's re relaxing. Now, where you feel up now? It, it should continue. <laughs> it should continue being fire. The, 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 way, the way it was when we met. You know, mm -hmm. but yeah, we should be thinking about our future now. We should be doing the, yani, someone is changing the relationship in the name of the future. Mm -hmm. In such a situation, what do you do? Someone is trying to change you into the relationship. I think relationships like this don't really go far because by the time you're in a space where you're already not content or happy with what you have, it's very difficult for you to start seeing and appreciating what it is that you have. So. That's why I say date people who like you. Like date type yako. Date to msi wako. Usi date ati dem. Mbigi alafu wanze kusema siju mwende gym. Ama siju wanze. Stop it. Don't, don't, don't try. You know what happens when, when you fall in love with someone? Uh -huh. the, change become, the change comes from you. You just want to do it yourself. Like, Katuli kwa hyper turned out every day. It will come so automatically that we'll want to spend more time with each other. We we'll want to be more intimate, more romantic as we keep treating each other better. Or maybe going out to the club every day, maybe that's our love language. Maybe that's what excites us. Maybe, siukondo tulipatana. So maybe that is what we want. I feel like, I mean, life changes and circumstances, things happen, but. I don't think that anyone should be in a relationship with someone that's trying to change them. It becomes very detrimental. It can even be in a positive way. It can be that, Shata, I want you to budget better. I want you to become a better um, communicator. I want you, but it doesn't matter what I say. It's for you to love yourself enough and love me enough that it will just come from you. You'll just want to do it because you see how it makes me feel and you see how it makes you feel and you see how good it is for the relationship that you have. So I don't advocate. That's why I keep saying you don't teach people by telling them. You can say, you can nag, you can shout, you can argue, but as long as someone is not on the same page with you or they do not believe in the same things or they don't think in the same way, it's going to be very, very difficult. And that's where you start feeling like you're not being appreciated. It's like telling someone to, maybe they drop their socks on the floor every time they come home and you've just cleaned the house. So you tell them every day, pick your sock, pick your sock, pick your sock. You see, what that happens is it makes you start to mother them. 
the dynamics of the relationship changes. So it's like, ah, this woman, she's always nagging. She's always complaining, always telling me the same thing all the time, always talking about it. But it makes you blind to whatever you're doing that is making her react in that way. And then now in Aqua accusations, in Aqua, she's always nagging and she's feeling the same way. You're never listening because she's always communicating. The best way to teach people is by showing them, by doing with them, by having grace, by having patience. It's very, very difficult, but that's why you have to be on the same page and want the same things and love each other enough to be able to change for yourself, not for them. Not at once they pick socks, zako kwa sababu itakasirisha Georgina kikuja zipate apo. It's because you know, if I pick this sock up, one akuta kwa na uchafu, how we make liniwa, so it's gonna make Regina feel better. It's gonna make her happier if she sees that I remember to pick up after myself. It's just for you. It's not even ever for the next person. So I don't, I don't like it. I mean, people change and people, you know, change is inevitable. Things happen and we become, we grow in other ways. But being in a relationship with someone who's trying to change you, that can be very detrimental. Just date your type. Date to mse wako. All right. Yeah. I mean, in Eru, tunangaliaga, tunaona 70% iko compatible, and then we know the 30% we shall compromise, ama we shall work around it. Yeah. Anyway. So, look, look, look at it this way. Kuna mtu wame notice, ata say maybe anawot show, that enyeo, my relationship is dying. Mm. You know? Mm. And... You see, you have friends that you've been telling that I, I feel there's no spark here. Some of them are telling you to leave, mm. you know? Yeah. But wherever you're feeling, I should stay. Yeah. You know, I still, aja nikosea, nile tu spark haiko, and atuju shide iko up, you know? But, so you want to make it work, but you don't know how to. First of all, you have friends that are telling you to walk, you know? You, yourself, you want to make it work, you don't know where to start, you don't know how to start it. Mm. So how does the conversation start? How do you start it with your partner that I think we should start doing this? Mm. Or do you start doing things? Actually, you could start doing things. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So how do you handle that situation? First of all, you have to have a conversation with yourself. Ask yourself, do you want to be here? Is it worth saving? Is there something to salvage here? Mm -hmm. You know, um, are you willing to lose the six, seven years you've been together? Uh, are you willing to step into another relationship? Do you feel safe with this person? Is it worth it? You know, and once your heart, maybe your heart and your mind tells you yes. Now, I don't think it's the best thing to go seeking advice from your friends. Like, no offense, some people out there have really, really good. Uh, intentions and, and and advice but I mean the very you're the person that knows your companion the best you know it's just that now you've been blinded by all of these things that have been happening now you're thinking you're failing but once you just you know just a moment of introspection you know it was working at some point right mm -hmm. so what was working how about you know, just go back to the things that were working? And sometimes it takes, oh, the days you're like, you want to do something and it just to work before, but it looks like this guy is not noticing. That's now persistent. Like put in, put in work, <coughs> be persistent because he's bound to notice, you know? And, and I think sometimes men notice these things and how I say me, like they're not going to say it, but they are noticing and they're liking it, you know? And they're gonna follow suit by doing or saying things that used to make you happy. I, I could be wrong, but I've seen that. Um, so it starts with you. Do you want to be here? I think so. I think I want to do another five, seven years with this guy. Okay, fine, cool. Have, have a conversation with yourself. Look back at the things that used to work and also now open the channels of communication. Um, don't go to the guy with an accusatory tone. Uh, you know, you, you never, Kwanza, when you use the word never and always, as I in, think it pisses them off. Yeah. <laughs> you never do this. You're always, wow, you've already now like, okay, so this is all I do, you know? Mm. So may, even the choice of words, you know. Um, for example, you don't go on dates. Don't now go straight to, but then we don't go to dating. Why don't you take mm. me to it? How about you plan one? Like, you're not going to die, mm -hmm. you know? Plan one. Look at his schedule, see, ah, this guy is free on Friday. Just surprise him with dinner at home or take him out on a date. You know, set the mood and then 
start talking, start reminiscing, you know, because when you start reminiscing and he mm, thinks about it, you're, you're right. And things now start flowing, hopefully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, CJ, yeah. they say getting at the top is an exam, but staying on top is the real exam, mm -hmm. you know? I'm sure you'd know that because of Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> you, you mentioned uh, settling, that's why I said we, rem we, we will come back to that. You know, right. You go to the relationship and now you settled, you know? Yeah. But you settled <laughs> and, this other, and, and your, your partner feels like you should do more or yeah. both of you should work towards this relationship, you know? How do you handle such a situation where one, one person has settled, they are okay, but the other one is not okay? All right. Uh, you know, even as I talked about the settling, let me give a few others that a few other things that I feel may get people to the plateau. Yes. Uh, one is unresolved conflict. Mm -hmm. You know, when people have issues that they have not talked through or they try to talk through and that did not work. And sometimes people just begin to withdraw. They get to the place where they feel I'm not talking about this anymore. Mm -hmm. But now what they do, they all also emotionally withdraw themselves from that space. So they're not leaving, they're not going anywhere, but they're just there, they're just flat. Um, sometimes also stress, you know, stress can come and uh, kill the energy in a relationship, maybe financial stress, um, just pressures from all kinds of places, work or something. So it takes the concentration of the people from that particular place. That happens a lot to men. Uh, they become very absent when they're stressed out elsewhere, that it can also happen to mm. ladies. If they've, sometimes it has nothing to do with even the marriage there. It could be something that's happening to her mother, to her family, she's stressed out. If I'm not able to see it, I will not be able to pull her back into this place of concentrating. There are also those changes that are happening to each one of us, you know. Um, their social changes, their physiological changes, uh, even in the woman sometimes. Maybe she's given birth, there are hormonal changes that have happened, and sometimes she just gets into a space where she can't even understand herself. Now, if, if I'm not very aware, I'm a loser at that particular point. It's, it's more like when children are growing up, they get to adolescence, they are changing, even in their personality. So if you're not very careful, you can decide that your son or your daughter is a quiet person, yet they weren't. They're just going through some changes and then you've left them alone. They get into their cave, they go quiet. So you also don't know how to start a conversation and you'll be living with a stranger over there. So there are several factors uh, sometimes. There's also the thing of, I talked about unresolved conflict, but also, there's also the thing of um, you know betrayal. And betrayal could come from anywhere. Uh, it could be one person feels they were treated in a certain way that they don't know how to get past. And maybe they've even talked about it. The conversation has been held, but they don't know how to get past that. You know, last week when we were having the conversation here about the sausages and the pizza, I couldn't get past that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> couldn't get past that. But <laughs> the avocados. I <laughs> <laughs> But, um, uh, you know, it could be that probably somebody is beginning to feel like maybe the other family is taking them for granted, not treating them with respect. They're getting disrespected either by the family or by yourself without even the partner knowing. These things begin to eat up into the energy that is in there. So people have to actually identify what is it that is causing this energy to just get sucked in. Um, and, and that's where now you begin to look at why did we even get into the place of settling? Because you settle for something. You know, you can settle for something that is mediocre. You can settle for something that is good. So you have to ask yourself, why did I settle in? Why have I decided that this is all I'm going to give into this relationship? I'm only giving 30 or 50%. When you're coming in, you wanted to give 100 or you were giving 100 or more. Why did you get to the place where you edited that and decided I'm only giving 50% into this relationship of 40? Or I will wait for the other person to give. If they give 20, I give 20. They give 30. Why did we get there? Yeah. So there has got to be introspection, interrogation. And then you have to be very honest with yourself and say, look, 
the reason I'm not fine in here, the reason I just settled, is because I felt I was giving too much and receiving too little. Mm -hmm. Now, that needs now a conversation with the other person. We should never be afraid to have these difficult conversations. Sometimes it's even the issues of deprived needs shatter. And from the African context, apart from if you're reading the uh, Roberta's blogs, <laughs> <laughs> but from the African context, there are certain things that people are not even comfortable talking about. Yeah. If they feel that their needs are unmet or they're deprived, especially when it comes to matters like intimacy, you can find somebody just withdrawing. They are upset with their partner, but they're not telling their partner. If it is a lady who feels deprived, it becomes even worse because she doesn't know how to bring out that without being looked at by the man, uh, beginning to ask questions like, why do you feel I'm not satisfying you? What do you do out there? Or what kind of a person were you? So <laughs> sometimes <laughs> those kind of things, it's, it's shame for them. And so they don't talk about it. I feel it's important for people to have difficult conversations. Because you're trying to save a relationship. Mm -hmm. If you really want it, you fight for it. So you need to have the difficult conversations. Mm -hmm. And as much as you'll set up, you know, Georgina was talking about you go for dinner. You can set up a dinner and surprise yourself. <laughs> <laughs> over there. If there are unresolved <laughs> issues, oh, you'll be sitting over there and waiting for this other person to show up. Yeah, but sure. because there are unresolved issues, mm -hmm. they actually decide not to show up. So you sit over there. Then these issues escalate. <laughs> so I, I felt that like a dagger in it. Like, oh my god. <laughs> so I think that conversations are important. Mm -hmm. It's important for people to begin having those conversations. Talk about how you feel or how things make you feel. Um, let the other person explain as well. You know, not accuse, not attack but come to ask for understanding, come to seek understanding, because it may be also a misconception. Mm. You may be feeling that this person is upset with you, they don't want to talk with you, and that may not be the case. They may also be feeling like, but you went quiet on me from last two weeks, so I was giving you space. So it's important then to try and get understanding. I'll, I love to say that people should ask questions like, what do you mean by that? Um, so that you do not mistake something just because of the space that you are in. So. Talking about the settling thing, the conversations, Shatter. Um, conversations. As I say, it takes energy to sustain anything over there. So you've got to have the conversations. Anytime you feel that something is coming in that is going to take you lower, talk about it. Uh, just to be clear. Uh, just to have both of you on the same side, viewing the same thing. True that. I think Abondo Bia Minafak Piana Mauniang Leo. Will is born. Come back. Come back. Let me do it. So shut up. Tell me. How does it feel? You know, let me tell you something. When there's a cool relationship, I'm to appreciate. In yeah. so many ways, you do, you do so much, but they never seem to see what you're doing. Mm. In return, you, you are craving. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're like, okay, I'll, I'll keep doing this. But me and you, I will not fight for this. But I will keep, I, I am here because of Janiko mm -hmm. Yes, that you don't appreciate what I do. So I will be here and I will keep uh, doing what I always do. You know? But the spark in Azimika. You know? In some situations, Kuna spouses have a You know? You start something with them and they have an answer, a ready answer. Like, yo. I think we should do no. Yeah. Whom are you doing it Why? without there? <laughs> Why do you want to change us? Yeah. Right. Why? You know, like you know, <laughs> like they, are, they do not want to cave at a, I'm a, I'm a compromise a small thing, mm. you know, and you're like, yeah. ah, this one is not worth the fight. Mm. But Shara, I think sometimes you know you need to call out somebody. I think sometimes you need to call them out. Yeah. Whether they will stay with you or not. Yeah. I think yeah. sometimes you need to call out yeah. somebody. Mm. Because otherwise you become an enabler of bad behavior. Yes. They need to know that they're either very manipulative, yes. very defensive. Yeah. They need to deal with their past trauma. Yes. Uh, they're, uh, you know, they're projecting on you. Mm. Or some, at some point, mm. you just need to raise the <laughs> bar and say, listen, <laughs> yeah. this your reaction is unwarranted. True. You are angry with me over your own stuff. You're yeah. always very defensive yeah. or you're trying to manipulate me or this. Now, 
they have to see that because sometimes you're the mirror mm. of the person who is around you mm. in life. So they yeah. need to see that, you know, um, they can think through it. If you lose them, you didn't really lose. Mm. They'll go away thinking about what you said. Mm. That's what I can tell you. Yeah. <laughs> and, and sometimes it, it comes in the form of like emotional abuse. Mm -hmm. Things like silent treatment mm. or things like somebody not communicating, that's abusive as well. Mm. Because by the time you're uh, committing to be in this exclusive relationship, mm. you need to be intent on working on yourself intentionally. There is no excuses for miu kwa hivi, miwe mi nilikuwa nafanya hivi, mi ni kikasirika, natakanga tu. No, like, cause, especially, you know sometimes in a relationship, it can be one person is avoidant, mm -hmm. and the other person is anxious. So this one person, the anxious person, just wants to talk. Because, like, I just want to know, what are you feeling? I don't care whether we're going to fight or if our voices are going to get raised. I just want to hear what you have. I want to hear what you feel so that I can know on what we can work on. Ukininyamazia, how am I going to know? We're going to move past the issue, ignore it, and guess what? It will come back. In the next argument, it will still come up. So... And then there's uh, the avoidant person who, I need space, min kikasirika na takanga space. So they do that and then they go a week, two weeks, three weeks. So the anxious person is feeling very, very unloved because when they were younger, any time they wanted to speak on their feelings, they were always ignored. They were always abandoned. So they have that anxiety of, He's not talking to me. He's gonna leave me. He's gonna leave me. You see, and it may be that the guy's not thinking of leaving or anything. He just genuinely needs the space. But you see, he didn't communicate. He didn't say, I need three weeks. I need a month to go think. I need the rest three of the weeks. evening. Yeah. I'm just giving an example because. <laughs> go start another because, <laughs> Listen, you'd rather tell, so you'd rather give someone a timeline. Uh -huh. Even if it's a year, I don't want to talk to you this year, let's mm -hmm. recoup next year. Then yeah. you ignore them and you say you love them yeah. and right. you're not communicating. Are you thinking about the mental space you're putting this? Because when I see people, I see their inner child. Mm -hmm. So even when I'm in a relationship with someone, I see them as this child. So when we're resolving conflicts, it's I want to hear you. It's a child. It's a child who's crying out saying, Bobby, let's talk. I want to hear. So that's exactly how I like being handled. Mm. So the moment someone is being avoidant with me, ignoring my feelings, it just takes me back to when I was nine years old, mm. trying to tell my mom, I want this, and she just ignored me. Mm. Or when I went to my dad for something and he just ignored. That's the mind space it takes me back in. And you see what happens with uh, the human body is that, say you're in the woods and you see a bear, uh, your mind goes directly into fight or flight. So you're preparing to either fight the bear or to run away, yeah? But you see what that does is it, when you're in fight or flight, like your, your, your eyes are dilated, your heart is beating really fast, your fear, you're in, like you're ready to act, fight or flight. But now imagine you have to activate your fight or flight all the time ever since you were a kid up to now when you're an adult, and there's no bear. It's human beings treating you like this. So you're wearing out your nervous system. You're weakening your immunity. You're making yourself weak because you can't even now take care of yourself. You're becoming weared out. So this is why communication is very, very important. It doesn't matter whether uh, you don't know how to talk or you're not used to it or you, you're a grown up now. Take responsibility <laughs> of your relationships, yeah. improve your communication. Whether it's in friendship or with your colleague or with your employer, talk. Say how you feel. Even, that's why I'm saying, in a car joke, you're three weeks, but imagine, say, say, I need three weeks mm. to go think and come back. The what, other what person you're I, leaving. I'm not done thinking in three weeks. Say, Extend. come back Extend. and communicate. Uh, <laughs> come back and communicate. I'm still not because all imagine, <laughs> because imagine, imagine the kind of mental torment mm -hmm. you're leaving the anxious person when you're not communicating to them. You're only thinking about yourself. And this is a relationship where you have committed. That's so, so unfair. That's why I think. It doesn't matter, even if your heart, it doesn't matter what you're feeling. 
it doesn't matter. What Date do you mean it someone, doesn't matter? Even if you feel that you're very annoyed mm -hmm. and you want to, uh, I, I don't want to use something abusive, but mm -hmm. let's say you, say you want to. Yeah, you want to punch a wall. Yeah. T let's talk about it so that we can get to the ball. Let's fix it. Let's work on it together. Let's figure out where is this feeling coming from? Is it anger? Is it jealousy? Is it, do you feel like I've been ignoring you or do you feel like you need space? What is it? The other person can never know if you don't communicate. We take communication for granted sana. Tunafanya ngaikae ni kama nikitu automatic, but it, it's very intentional. Loving someone and choosing to be with them, it's something you choose. You wake up today and uh, like these guys said, when things become stale, you start wondering what's happening. Seti mmekoseana, niju hamfanyi kitu, ham communicate. Iyo kitu simple, iyo text simple ya, babe, naingia studio, say ni 10, natoka studio 1. Situonge 1. Ni simple, kwa kwa inaka, ah, sini obvious, ya najwa niko kwa radio. Why have you used my example? Just, because you're, you're right why, why next you're, to me. Look, look at me, for me. She, she's just putting a spotlight on me. I from 10 to 1. Yeah. Yeah. That is work sticky yeah. back. Because it looks, it's, it's just three hours, three three hours. Three three hours. Three and you hours. see in your head, you're thinking, this lady knows I'm no, radio look, host. Uh -huh. She knows. Bobby, when she started talking about communication, she Hand to face. I know. Face, like she's, telling she's telling me. She's telling me. So, yo, please, Bobby. get the clue. I, 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 I have picked the clues. Like, you know, let me God, did someone tell to you? Oh, we got here. And like, please go tell him to come and make it. Yo. Apa na. Need you, history of communication, who need touch sana. You was say uko sana over. If I just told you, if I just told you, everything else could have been solved in a bit, an, in an easier way. So please, okay. work on yourself. It's yes. all internal work. Work on yourself so that you see the importance of telling CJ, uh, I can't make it to lunch today. It looks like a small thing, but I promise you, to mm -hmm. traumas, to not go through things, now, now we need to be better. You, you, you brought you brought you brought something up that now we have to address because part of it I am guilty. <laughs> I am guilty of it, and I'm sure there are a lot of people out there like, like me. Me no mm. uh, I will go silent at You know because I don't know how to be uh, confrontative. You know, so if I tell you something once, and instead of listening to what I've told you, you rebuttal or you defend what I'm telling you, I think is offending me. Mm. What I do in return is I keep quiet. Can I yeah. ask you something? I will keep quiet because mm. I don't know how to yeah. answer you again because I've already told you, by the way, when you do this and this, I think it, it's not right. It affects mm. me this way and that way, yeah. you know? But instead of taking it in, you respond to it and tell me, Apana, wewe do na yo naivi. Mm. You see, they refuse to change or, or to, uh, to absorb my concern. Mm. What I do in return is that I will be like, okay, because I will not argue with you, I will not raise my voice, and I don't know how to do this and this, I will just go silent on you. Yeah. So you see what we're talking you. about, the unresolved issues mm -hmm. that bring people into that plateau, because you'll go quiet. Yeah. Then this person also will probably just Same go quiet. Thing. So you people will just be going through uh, the robotics of the relationship. Mm. Pass me salt. <laughs> okay, it's here. <laughs> we pay rent. We paid rent. <laughs> and yeah. you do that. You're not fighting. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a relationship needs a fight for it mm -hmm. to survive. Uh. Hey. Sometimes. Hey. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Uh -huh. Sometimes stillness is the most dangerous thing that can happen to a relationship because it means it's dead. The graveside is a quiet place. Sometimes the fight will spark it up. It's like a boil needs to burst sometimes. So we're not talking about physical fighting. Yes. But you'd rather have this and let everybody bring out everything. Yes. Mm. Then both sides know 
yeah. <laughs> where you are at. So you actually know whether you have something to save, <laughs> <laughs> something to spark again, or this thing was dead long time and the two of you are trying to keep face. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, again, you'll be just quiet at the two of you, but this thing died in both of your hearts. Three years, four years, five years down the line. It is dead. You know it can't be woken up, but none of you wants to say it. You know, so sometimes you just need that. You know, you just need a fight. Uh, something that will bring out... See, when you burn a bush, you'll see all kinds of animals coming. Yeah. <laughs> so, so sometimes you need that. So you see the rats, the snakes, all the squirrels coming out. Then you'll be like, whoa, man. So we've really had issues. Really, really. <laughs> Another thing that I found terribly annoying, mm -hmm. but very, very effective. Yes. We talk about you, you're a mirror to your company. Yes. Mm -hmm. Turn the tables. Yes. Know. If you're here talking about how you gaslight me, mm -hmm. gaslight that person. What? And they will see how bad it affects, you know, because they're bound to see how it will affect him. That has every buyer. And they're like, oh, you see now? You see? That's how I feel when you do a certain thing. And then uh, if, if that person is of a sound mind, like my husband, he will take a step back and be like, oh, okay. That, that feels bad. You know, sometimes you really, again, bring in the fight. Mm. Sometimes turn the tables on him. If you keep saying one thing, one thing, one thing, do the same thing back to him, oh, I know, it can be very <laughs> conniving, mm. but it works. <laughs> it can work. Because you're like, treat another person the way you want to be treated, you know. Mm -hmm. Some type of way, now go back with the conversation. Did you see the way you felt? Honestly, that's how I feel. And then talk about it. And we're like, okay, cool. Game, game. We're not doing it again? No. Cool. <laughs> that has worked for me. <laughs> for, the, the for, the, for the mirror yeah. thing, I was going to say, mm -hmm. most times uh, when you're accusing someone of something, mm -hmm. you need to take a step back as well and realize that sometimes you're doing the same thing that you're <laughs> accusing the other person of. And you're so noticing it. And ego gets in the way. You but but you have to, you have to, if you want to work on things, you have to work on, like that's the work part. You have to be very deliberate. And um, being vengeful or things like that, utapatam tu kichwa bigi kukuliko mwenye, okay, you're going to hell, let's go, let's go. You get, kama, kama, kama shata, kama shata mesema ya neza nyamaza fo, una nyamazi ya one week, sawa, tuchape one year. Una get, and you're not solving anything, you're hurting each other emotionally. So what I, what I started doing, something I learned from Shazmin is, uh, instead of, kukatsirikyo mse mwingine na juliza nga mini nini nafanya kuchangia hii situation. And in as much as it can get tiring for you to keep speaking, keep teaching, keep talking, keep, maybe that's your answer. Maybe that there is your answer. You know, so instead of you matching their energy negatively, just make your decision. Am I ready to keep being in a relationship where I have to tell a grown person the same thing all the time? Am I ready to teach them every day? Is this what I want for the next five, six years? Is this what I'm settling for? Make the decision. Don't, don't, I don't, I find it for that, like, in as a quite detrimental because ukweli ni, Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Yeah. My, my husband's motto is, mm -hmm. after nine, we've, it's been 12 years now, know your person. Okay. Know your person. You, there are buttons you know if you press, it, it, it amaliza everything. But there's like a small button you press, mm -hmm. it, it, it might feel a bit vengeful, but you know there will be change in. It's, it's also the, communication. It's also communication. It's mm -hmm. also a form of communication. Mm -hmm. So it's not at eventful. At now if you, it is not eventful. Again, know your person. You have to know each other very well to know what is going to bring about change. Is it talking? Is it, uh, it's, no, let's not do silent treatment. Is it, you know, just, Taking a step back. <laughs> Why? Is it? Why did you do <laughs> that? Sorry, like, I, I, not like, like, no, let's not do that. <laughs> Come is it, on. Is it, is it that, <laughs> is that the red button at the top or the yeah. purple one that you know? Yeah. Um, know your person. Okay. You know, uh, Georgina, the, the thing about the knowing, and I talked about changes that come as well. Yes. That in different stages. Now you've been married nine years there are few things that are different for you now yeah. than they were in the first two years or something. Yeah. So again, this knowing is a continuous pursuit. Yeah. Uh, something that somebody was excited about. You know, my wife was the most quiet person. 
most quiet person when we started courting and dating then i mean nowadays sometimes i'm like can i also talk can i say something yeah <laughs> when we're together she will just keep talking and talking you know so Again, we're changing, and somebody has to constantly pursue the knowledge of this person. You've got to keep on updating that, the same way we do with the apps, you know? Mm. Um, your partner is not where they were two years ago, ago or three years ago. I think that is one of the places, again, where uh, relationships lose the spark, mm. because we don't have updated versions of the person we are. <laughs> uh, so when things are happening around their life, we are still trying to keep them where they used to be. Yeah and maybe they're not there. Probably when you met them, they were Indo people. Now they want to go out though. You're insisting on Indo. You never plan out though, because in your head, this is an Indo person, whether the man or the lady. Oh, they don't like people. They don't like crowds. They don't like going out. They don't like trying new things. Maybe they've changed. Maybe they've been exposed into different spaces where some changes have come. So you've got to keep knowing that person. Um, but I'll say this because I know that we're also running out of time. Uh, sparking this thing, sometimes we want to go back into what we used to do. The danger is, what if I have moved on? And again, what if we have unresolved issues? You know, sometimes somebody thinks, because the first time I got Roberta's attention, I bought her chocolate. So now I'm going to come with a chocolate. But maybe her issue is not even what I'm doing. The issue, again, is what we have not done. Mm. We have not talked about certain things. Mm. You have been ignoring me and doing all of this. So even when you come with a chocolate, the first time the chocolate meant something because of what we meant to each other. Mm. Now you bring it, she might as well go and pick it from the supermarket Honestly. by herself. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so we shouldn't be very mechanical mm. and say, okay, um, I know Georgina loves going to the coast. So if we want to spark it up, let me take her to the coast. Sometimes that's not the issue. Yeah. You can go there <laughs> and actually part ways at the coast. <laughs> 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 Try to really find out yes. what is happening with the other person. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Just, just talk. Just, just find out just what is talk. happening to this the other person. person. <laughs> Actually, you've answered the question that I was about to ask, yeah. which was, how do you get to the same wavelength? Yeah. If you want to uh, rekindle this spark, how do you get to this spark? But before we answer that one, but if you've touched on it, I've seen a, a feedback here that we need to read. Right. I think uh, Faith needs some help from... <laughs> I'll pick, uh, say I'll pick who? We shall know. Okay. Faith and Asema, I have a husband. When I call at night, he doesn't pick my call. Then tomorrow, Anasema phone in Baya. In the course of the day, Anasema ko busy. Alafu anongelea mendeleo. But akuna love. What shall I do? That's Faith. All right. You touched exactly the version of my story today. We no longer talk. She is a mother of one and have some family plan. Been pastoring her for the last three years now, but not ready to remove the plan. I am aging, I need a kid too. Ha, ah, all right. What do you mean by saying women are environmental and men are mental? <laughs> yeah, motivational speaker, he shall tell you. <laughs> From Nakuru. I have a guy who we have been dating for two years, Sai, akonai, nahu ha communicate. When I call, he talks like he doesn't care about me anymore. How can I handle it? All right. I believe it's all about trust and communication through. Once you show your spouse that you don't trust him or her, it's hard to reinstate the normalcy. All right? Mwofa, it was a. Where? Tuanze nagani. Wato mekua deep apoki dog. Tuanze. To answer an environmentalist. <laughs> <laughs> CJ, please expound uh, uh, environmental and mental. When a woman gets into a space, she doesn't just focus on one thing. Yes. The whole environment has to favor her for her to settle in. Mm -hmm. If she walks in, for example, and she likes you, but then if myself, if Roberta likes you, uh, which she does, but if Roberta <laughs> likes you, and uh, 
we are your relatives, we are your family, for example, mm. Eugene and myself, and she walks in and our energy is bad, mm. she will pick it up. Mm. She can't ignore that. Mm. When she comes into your space, if she's moving in, she will literally nearly want to change that. Yeah. Yeah. They don't just, just focus on one go, thing. Man. Mm. You know, <laughs> she wants to make, now even with things like intimacy, she cannot uh, come and be intimate with you and the kitchen is not okay. A baby is crying on this other side. The door was not closed. She'll always think 360 degrees. Mm. A man can focus just linear over here. I've come in here for Bobby. I don't even care what's there. He may not <laughs> even remember what is within that space yeah. <laughs> because he came there for Bobby. But this woman will have a 360 degree view anywhere that she is, which means for her to settle, the whole environment needs to favor her. She needs a whole ecosystem. A man can walk in into a space like a restaurant and get out, you know, but that's difficult for a woman to do. True that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Tiki Malizia, please, we, we joined two, two questions that were asked by two different ladies. The first one, the, briefly, because <laughs> Briefly, oh, when you say my one I can communicate you see who and come on it's a long distance both of them are in distance relationships mm -hmm. You know and the husband does not respond. Yeah. He does not is when they talk he just talks about development yeah. There's nothing about love. And what does she do? It, it, it's sad because I'm pretty sure there was some form of um, Pattern, you know, so once she recognizes pattern in a break then there is reason to be worried so obviously ask ask i don't know how but you need to let him know that you're aware there's a break in pattern and you need to know what's going on yeah all right how do you get you on social media get me on uh georgina mbira everywhere more live yes bobby 30 seconds <laughs> yeah. plan yeah plan <laughs> Oh, sorry. Oh, I know it's really difficult to make such decisions, especially once you've been investing your time and your emotions and you're thinking, oh my God, I'm losing all these things. But listen, at the end of the day, you have to care for yourself and you're not able to care for other people when you're not okay within yourself. So improve your emotional intelligence i mean the guy i mean everyone improve your emotional intelligence love yourself better so that you can treat yourself better so that it can improve the the kind of the quality of decisions that you make so that when you're coming to talk to this lady to explain to her that you want a kid this is how you feel this is the trajectory you wanted your relationship to take that you are able to gauge is she understanding is she on the same page with me if she's not you have your answer you're supposed to make your decision don't be scared about losing the relationship or anything it's okay just work on yourself and everything will be okay so right. work on yourself roberta will be everywhere well, uh, <laughs> love and orgasm love, <laughs> love and orgasm <laughs> all right <laughs> cj where do you get you on social media cj temo everywhere um, and CJ Temo School of Leadership on Facebook as well. Ooh, Amazing. Right. All right. What about Meskia? Come about on a field and you can still work on this relationship. Don't give up. Try. But make sure before you start working on it, you are on the same wavelength with your partner. Mm. Don't start working on it. Here, you have to change. Now you've changed. You've started dressing in fitting suits that I want CJ to hook me, by the way, with the suits. <laughs> but, you're dressing for other ladies, but you're dressing for her, you know? Yeah. Make it known first that, you know, I think we should try making this work and we should rekindle ABCD, you know? Yeah, love is you know, amazing because love is a beautiful thing. Let's not make it the other way. I'll see you. Facebook, shut up, boy. Instagram, shut up, underscore, boy. Twitter, shut up, tikitaka. YouTube, shut up, official, Steve Jacob Maunda. Na wale mnapenda reggae, leo siku, Nico Donum. Sawa, Triple K, the reggae brothers, shut up, boy, DJ Bling, DJ Rev. Mukam to kule reggae. Big up, Willis Raburu, mufollow kila pale, Willis Raburu. Sawa, amazing. Wacha ni karikindle mapenzi yangu. Allah. <laughs>